Hi folks, Professor Amachi wanted to get you through the T9 review assignment. And this is going to be making a countdown clock in JS. So if you're ready, let's get started. So what we have here is a countdown to the next July 4th event over in Tulsa. So what we're going to be doing with this is taking this date right here and we're going to be using the system time and then uh, right here we're going to have these days doing the uh, countdown for us. For the HTML, uh, let's just reference to our JS file. This would be the tiny timer JS file. Okay, tiny timer, we'll just go ahead and copy that, that's fine. Okay, and we'll set that to defer, and I think we'll be okay with that. Let's head on out to the JS file here. The first thing we're going to want to do is declare the uh, use strict. Okay, so we do that one there. Let's come out here and we're going to We're going to design here a function to create and run the countdown clock. Okay, so what we're going to do here is function show clock. And we are going to store the current date and time. Declare these variables. This variable here is this day. That's going to equal new date. Set the local date equals this day to locale date string. And then var local time. That's going to equal this day. Uh, to locale time string. Come out here and let's do display the current date and time. Document get element by ID. And we're going to take the current time go inner HTML, that's going to equal there. Okay, so we got span plus local date plus. Let's close off that span there. Start a new one. And then we're going to add local time plus span. Okay, and that will close it off there. Let's declare this variable var j4 date equals next July 4. And it's this day. j4 date set hours uh, 21, that means 9 o'clock. Okay, calculate the days, hours, minutes, and seconds until July 4th at 9 p.m. Days, that's going to equal their J4 date minus this day. Okay, and this is 1000 times 60 times 60 times 24. Okay, declare the variable for hours. That's going to equal days minus math floor days times 24. 
24 hours in a day. So minutes var minutes equals uh, hours minus minus math floor hours times 60 seconds. That's going to equal uh, minutes, minutes minus math floor, and this will be minutes times 60. Okay, so now that we declared those variables and we set up the formulas to calculate all that, we now have to display it. So once we display that, that's going to be a document get element by ID. Uh, get element by ID. That's going to be days left. Text content equals math floor. And that's going to be days. So we're going to be printing out our days. Okay. Same thing, document, get element by ID. This is going to be hours left. And that's math floor. And we got hours going there. Document, get element by ID. We're going to do minutes left now. Minutes left. Uh, we'll do text content here. And that is math floor minutes document get element by ID seconds left okay, text content math floor seconds math floor seconds now since we defined all this now we need to execute the function to run and display the countdown clock. Okay, so we just call show clock. And then we want to set that interval. Set that interval show clock. And we want a thousand milliseconds there. Okay, so go ahead and save that. Okay, so here we go. We have our current date right here. Here is the current time. Uh, 48 days, 7 hours, 23 minutes, 22 seconds, and we got our countdown going here. Hopefully I had a good time with that. I certainly enjoyed putting that together for you. Be sure to like and subscribe, and we'll see you on the next.